Hello guys, Cam for Excel Gaming here, and I'm here with another achievement guide: how to get the perk, perk, how to get the achievement, awaken the gazebo. Uh, it's a 30 G achievement, and all you've got to do is just pack punch your weapon at round one. So sounds hard, but it's quite easy once you get the things that you need to do. And all you need to get is a time bomb, but first. You've got to get 1,000 points in the spawn area, so you know that's four zombies in total. So I've got another one here, so that's three. You just need one more, which should be there on top. So get that one, and then you want to grab this Remington chalk and put it to the wall. Which will then give you another extra thousand. Jump down and head to the box, and hopefully, you will get the time bomb or the paralyzer. You can do it with either. So, MTAR is the first one. Hopefully, we'll get the either the paralyzer or the time bomb. So, you have now we've got the time bomb. Uh, we want to put it down, you can put it down anywhere. I'm just going to put it down next to the box. Uh, so, there we go. Then, what you want to do is you want to come to Leroy's cage and let him out. So, you've got the key. Unlock. Give him the booze. And then get out of there. Then it's out. We've got a few more points now, so then we can kill the last zombie and get enough to open the saloon. So all we've got to do now is open these barricades. This one. We've got to open that door. We've got to open the power. We've got to open this door. Uh, well, you should say barricade. Um. That which you always do with uh, Leroy, you give him the booze and then he knocks it down. So we've got to do that, but you know, you're probably thinking, How the hell are you gonna get those points? Well, that's simple, you just shoot the zombie. Uh, we've got the time bomb on round one, so it's gonna stay there once we go back. And then we've got enough points, uh, and then we can, you know, once everything's open, grab the chalk. And uh, we can go to pack punch. So just skip the rounds till you've got enough to open everything. What I do, I'm going to show you the full gameplay, so you guys can watch me uh, go through the rounds and uh, see what round I go to to actually do this. So it shouldn't get to that high round. Maybe around five, six is normally the round you get to. So now I've got enough for the power. I'm going to turn on the power. Because obviously you need the power to be on for the pack punch. So that's on. So now all we need to do is just open the saloon. Get the booze. Open to the weapon chalks. Then we open up to this one here. And then we, well we would need to go past another round or either buy it. It's up to you. Uh, but all the money you make in this round will be gone when you come back, just remember, so you don't want to be getting any money and saving it unless, you know, put it in the bank, but you know, you can't use the bank for this achievement at all, or the weapon locker, uh, so don't be doing that, that's why you've got to do it this way, the way I'm showing you right now, so I've nearly got enough. Probably two more kills and then they should have enough. So there's one, two, three. I'll open this now. Where's the booze? It is in there. Leroy's cage. If it isn't in there, it will be in Leroy's cage. So let's go over there now. Should have checked there first. That would have, uh, you know, 
save me some money, but I would need to open that anyway. So just come to here and give him the booze. Make sure you do it the right way, and it should run into that. Don't get the weapons off the well, off the chalk. Well, don't get the chalk off the wall yet. You need that for when you come back. Then you get the money. Then uh, the second door is this one. So you just want to skip around and get the booze again. And uh, now that's open. So kill that one, and you can also kill that one. And then the booze should appear on these tables here. So as I can hear, I am still Ninja and uh, Rick Tovin's talking to me, so that's nothing to do with what I'm doing here with this achievement. Uh, it's just in the game. So I'm now going to open to the second half. And I've got 1000 to buy some more booze. So I can do that if I like and open to the church or the haunted house. So up to now we've actually done uh, three, opened up three. Well if you want to count the, uh, well let's just count them all, we've done four all together. Open four rooms, so that's great. And uh, yeah, so just kill these zombies so they're out of wave and they can grab whatever they need to grab. Uh, which is a booze, uh, so just kill that one. Just buy the booze from the till. Speed up things here. I think it did it come through here. Right, so we've got to find Leroy again. Here he is. Just stab him to make him go faster. If you did not know that already, we're gonna open the church. So we're ready. So get to the church, open that, and then if you want, you can grab some more booze because we have enough. And remember, we don't need this money because we will get the you know the money from the chalk. So the next door is gonna be obviously the other one so we can get some more booze and uh, do that so we'll do that while he's next to here get him to open that one and then you want to come over here to the courthouse and then you want to open this one so then once you've done that uh, you're pretty much done and you want to go over to where you started so you know pretty much easy now just kill that zombie doesn't really matter And then we can go back to the start. We don't have to go back to the start, you know what I mean? But we need to go, just press the time on basically. I'm just going to make sure I've done everything. Uh, so that, the haunted house is done, church, uh, the courthouse, uh, the saloon, the weapon locker, the power. So everything's done. So, you know, we can just press the time bomb now and we'll be back to round one and we can go back through after we've done placed all the weapons on the wall. Uh, you know, you can just get your kills up if you want and go back. So that's basically what I'm doing. Uh, but I'm just going to press it for the sake of it and go back to round one. Now we've done that. We have got the zombie running around or walking around, and now we can get to these weapons because uh, you know it doesn't affect when you go back in time when you've opened them. So I'm just gonna grab the AN. Hang on, guys, I'm just gonna turn that down so you can't hear that guy. 
Right, so once you've done that, you can either go to this question mark, which is probably the closest and most easiest to get to. So, we've got the MTAR there. They don't spend any money at the box once you've got these, by the way. Uh, I'm just going to get this one here and go back up these set of stairs and I can you know get another thousand for the pack punch and don't forget you've got to open the haunted house door so you should have enough for that but if not you know I think I've got two zombies here which I have so I don't think I did have enough there so now I have don't get that nuke if you did get that nuke so now I've added that, I can grab these and where now I'll put them is at the top of the saloon. Which I have not opened. So what I'm going to do is, I can't believe I've just forgotten that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Leroy to open this here and hopefully that will give me some money so that's 470 there I need some uh, oh I need another weapon chalk I'll have a little bit extra anyway, so it shouldn't matter too much. Well, we can always build a trample steam to go over there anyway. In fact, we don't even we don't even uh, need to buy it because I uh, I know a way to get around there anyway. So sorry about that. I think that's why I didn't open that because I know a way around it. We don't need any money, but we could have got money. But it doesn't mind now. So that's on there. We've got three grand. We need to add four fifth. Uh, yeah, just fourth and fifth, I think. Yep. So now we need to go over to the church. Or we can just do this one first and then without the church. So you want to follow me because you haven't opened that, have you? Uh, well, if you've got enough, which you probably haven't, so. You want to come around here, go over to the barn, you want to drop down here, and then you want to run, run along through this uh, mine, and then you want to make this jump just up here. How would be a good time to switch to my other weapon? Jump over there, stay on the top, don't drop down and then you can get over here so we're back to where we started and we can carry on don't need to buy anything else uh, so there we go we just need to get some more chalk and do the last one which we will get 2000 for so here we go get the two grand and then we can go through uh, when you go through you don't want to get hit by any of the uh, you know the ghost or haunted people I don't know uh, the poltergeist so we should get two thousand off here there we go and now we have got enough for that door and we can go through whether enter or whatever weapon you have and then we can you know do that so open this door we've got five grand and we just want to go through I'm going to do that and then just want to be careful with these witches because you know they do take two grand off each time so make sure you kill them before you get to you if not back off and just you know keep doing it so one spawns at the end of this kill that one wait for this one to come round 
Make sure there's no one behind you. Right, there's the last one there. It's a good job I turned around there, because I wasn't going to. I'm really glad I did. Because that would have been it messed up. Get this one here. That's one there. Jump through. And these will still be following you, by the way. Because you, uh, you are, you know, getting a perk. Free perk. So you just want to come. Yeah, I've gone the wrong way, so. Just watch out for that witch going around. Check behind you. Grab your perk. So now you're safe from those witches. That is twice I've been lucky there because I've been turning around. I did turn the volume down also so I didn't really hear them. So now you want to come down here. Go to pack punch. And you can pack punch. And that will be the achievement. But before that, I'm just going to put my preferences on. So you guys can see the achievement coming on. I'll just wait till that goes off. Wait a minute if anyone... Alright, and then pack a punch. And it should come up once you've grabbed the weapon. Like so. Awaken the gazebo. And that is, my friends, how to do it. So, thanks for watching. This has been a great tutorial. Hope you followed me all the way through. But if not, rewind the video and you guys can do it. Uh, simple so you know I'll just show you the achievement now as I'm in solo I'll show you awaken the gazebo in buried pack punch a weapon during round one with no one using the web the bank or weapon locker I did this solo so there was only me in it I know I didn't use the bank or the weapon locker so therefore I am gain the achievement which I already have 30G achievement it's great and uh, yeah you know that's uh, pretty much all the achievements I've got for buried and uh, I just need to get one last one which is the mind games achievement at 75G and that is the easter egg one which I have not yet completed uh, but is on the way so when I do that I will put, we get some more videos out of that I've got a few up already how to do it uh, on the court mode. I'm not sure if you can do it in solo, but thanks for staying around. And if you did it, please give a like and uh, you know comment. Uh, what G I don't know, comment what G you're on. I mean, this is a new account because this is the XL Gaming one which I've just created. I've got 415G, so you know here comes a zombie and we're good to go on round one we've got the free gun perk uh, which is mule kick and uh, yeah so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you later